Just Ice, legendary rapper. Let's go, y'all. Let's go, let's go. What's up, family? How y'all doing? Yes, we are here with Just Ice. What's up, man? Peace. How y'all Thank doing? Thank you so much for coming through. It's and, a trip. Uh, yeah, I can imagine a journey damn near. <laughs> Look, everybody knows how I am. I am such an old hip hop head that it's ridiculous. And I'm just, I'm glad, number one, you still around. Yes, yes, yes. You know yes, what I'm yes. saying? Thank God for that. And um, we miss you, man. Yeah, huh? <laughs> so y'all said at the same exact time. <laughs> we miss you. We miss you. Uh, we miss old school. And uh, how do you feel about you know where you've come from to where things are now? Well, actually, I was just, I was born right down the street. I was born in really? Brooklyn Hospital. In Brooklyn? I'm from Fort Greene. Get out. That's right. My mother graduated from LIU. Oh wow! Yeah. Nice. So nice. I, as soon as I came out, I saw my hospital. I was like, hey, I was born there. <laughs> 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 yep. That's and um. And like I, I said earlier, um, it's, it's, it's been a nice trip. I'm not going to say I regret anything okay. from where I came to where I'm at to where I'm going because the music never stops. Never stops. Uh, like I just said earlier, I have a new, a new EP. I wouldn't say album because it's only like seven or eight tracks on there. So I would call it an extended EP. It's called the Just Size Chronicles. Okay. And it's on iTunes. So that's new. And I'm um, getting a good response from it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, still doing shows. I don't like the title old school or true school. I mean, I like true school better than old school, to be true honest. School, I there like true school better than I like than true school, school better than old school because I do shows still and I don't always do them with, with you know, old school from, artists. From, 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 from my your, generation right. before me. Because it was a generation before me. Right. To me, they old school. Right, right. You know, I, they old school. But I do a lot of shows overseas with nowadays artists, you know, and. It's like it's a, it's a mixture of an audience. It's half I was just gonna older, ask that. half younger. But it's like when the new artists do their music, the, the older generation they like it, and when I do my music over there, the younger generation definitely they, likes it nice. because I make sure with my production I keep it up to date. Very good. You know, it's not like I'm gonna do a new record today and use the production skills from the '80s. I'm not gonna do that. Right. Yeah. It's not gonna work out. No, it's not. It's, 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 <laughs> it's like not. A, it's like a profit. It's like change. a it's like a profit. It's only good for that certain time. That's right. That's right. You know right. what I'm saying? So I just try to more or less keep up with the times. I have a young son. His name is Justice, and I have a younger okay, son than Justice. him named Joshi, and they listen to some crazy stuff in the house. I can you imagine. You know, they listen to some crazy. It's, yo, especially the younger one. <laughs> See, it's it's wild because to me, the stuff that he listens to is crazy. Now, the stuff my youngest son listens to, to him, it's crazy. Right. Because the but generation the has generation, changed. It's a different, but you know you have to appreciate it and you have to respect it because hip-hop is an evolution. It's a movement. Yeah. It's not going to remain stagnant. It, if you don't keep up with hip-hop, it will definitely leave yes. you behind. You are right. I don't care how you feel about one certain generation or another. That's you're right. going to have to embrace hip-hop and just keep on moving with it. That's the reason why I think that when I rhyme and when I write rhymes, it's when people hear it, they be like, wow, you still sound like you did back then. I'm like, yeah, I still sound like it. I still keep up with I have to keep up with it. You have to. You have to keep up with it because if you don't, you will get lost. Yeah. They'll be like, and they'll leave just it. who? They'll be like, we just what? none of that. <laughs> and we were just speaking about this uh, up in the Bronx the other day. In New York City, you will get lost in the shuffle quick. That's true. Quick. 
Because they're not playing. Nah, man, New York <laughs> is a fast-paced town. Yeah. And especially when it comes to hip-hop, since hip-hop originated in the, in the Bronx, hip-hop ori- originated in the Bronx, it's so much hip-hop in the Bronx that if your hip-hop is not sharp, you will be forgotten. That's why I do little shows here and there in the Bronx. I do shows in Manhattan. I have one coming up March 16th at SOBs. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. not going to be a show like 1986 or 87 or 88. Right. I don't do that. When I get on stage, I light it up. That's right. Yeah. And That's I make right. sure that I leave the classics for the end. Right, like, right. Like Latoya going way back, cool, getting dumb, all of that stuff. I leave it for the end because... That's the records people really recognize. That's true. Yeah. You know, they recognize those records. Um, the new records, people might hear them. It surprised me. Last week I was on a show mm-hmm. with the um, Red Alerts Violators. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the when, Violators, uh, shout out. Yeah. And when they, they actually downloaded the new album right there All right. on the show, and when they played one of the tracks, they was like, what? We never wow. heard this before. And the phones just rang. The phones just nice. lit up. And I forgot the... Um, uh, one of the hosts' names, the light skinned brother, he had to ask, he turned the music down and said, Yo, do not call. We're listening to the new Just Ice. <laughs> and then they turned it back up, and that phone just rang. And I, I felt pretty good about it because, I mean, when, we, when I performed this album overseas, when I was in um, Amsterdam last year, mm-hmm. I performed it in Amsterdam one week, I performed it in London the next week, and I got a very good response from it. Very good. But I couldn't really use that to judge America. Right. Because it's right. different over it's there. It's a totally different, yeah. Over here, so you go to a party, you wear a new pair of sneakers, you step on them, party's over. Over. It's up. Over there, it's you step right. on the new sneakers, they be like, sorry, mate. And they keep right on moving. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know, they just keep right on moving. It's different. So, I mean, I got a real good response from it. So, I hope That's great. the more it gets played on independent stations, college stations. I'm, I'm not really concerned about Hot 97 and Flex and all of them. I'm mm-hmm. not... I'm not going to say nothing bad about them, but, you know, they do their thing and let right. Just Ice do his thing and get the records played the way he want to get them played and just do my yeah. best to get a good response. That's it. Well, definitely, we definitely going to have to put that out. Oh, yeah, you know I'm going to play it. Gonna the name play is called it. the Just Ice Chronicles. Um, it's, well, I have I have clean versions and dirty versions, so okay. you, 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 okay. you don't have to worry about your child sneaking and downloading and they only like about 11 or 12 and they want to, I want to hear who this Just Ice guy is and they hear they be like, oh, <laughs> He yeah. said this, he said that, you know, I want to sound like Bill Cobby for a minute, flim, flam, 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 you know, <laughs> you know, you know, but um, I, it's the clean, it's clean versions and it's street versions and right. it's indicated. So if they download it, it it's not it a mistake. It's That's not a right. mistake. That's they did right. it on purpose. <laughs> All right. And you know most of them will do they it on do purpose. purpose. And Come then they, you know how I mean, when I was when we first started this we in used eighty to do that. in eighty six, eighty seven, when Latoya put that record back on, and on the other side was called This Girl's a Slut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When that record came out, yeah. I got phone calls from parents. I don't know how they even found <laughs> wow. out the record company's <laughs> phone number. It was so weird his time. Word. Word. That's I, wow. I, and I was, I was like, yo, they was like, why do you make records like that? You should make records. My child, man, there was no downloading back then. Yeah, you had to go really to the store. You had to go to um, Tower that. Records or it. somewhere <laughs> like that to go get the record. That's right. And they was like, why do you stay that kind of stuff? I'm like, it's entertainment. I mean, if you don't want to listen to it, then don't buy it. That's right. No, we didn't buy it. Our child that's bought right. it. And now he's going around the house singing it. But I'm like, you know, well, that's not that's not on me. I said, you, you, I said, discretion is the better part of that. You know what I'm saying? You have to do, do what you got to take, take it away from him. <laughs> that's, that's right. right. Well, we're not gonna buy your music anymore. I was like, well, so what now? Now you piss, I mean, now you peeing me off. Right. You don't have to buy. Somebody in your family will. If somebody can, you gonna hear it again. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it's it's. I, I learned, and I I think they they told me that I was like one of the first. I don't consider myself no rapper either. I'm an MC. That's right. I I was like one of the first MCs to have a warning rec- label on the on a, on, a, on, a, on a record for MC. Wow. And I was like, you know what? I said I didn't plan on this. <laughs> <laughs> just just how it went. Yeah, because I never did it for the money. Right. I never did it for the money. When we started playing hip hop back in like seventy. 576. We was playing hip hop. For real. We was playing real hip hop. Yeah, there was real. no rapping, no MCing. I remember the first time I heard a, 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 a MC record. I think it was Enjoy's. As a matter of fact, mm. Enjoy's first rap record, because that's when it was called rapping then, after yes, the record came out. Enjoy's first rap record was Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Four. 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 Raheem wasn't down with them yet. Mm-hmm. Raheem wasn't down with them yet. Oh, yeah. It was called Super Rap. Yes! Exactly. 
You absolutely yep. right. It was called Super Rapping. Got two copies. Show up. Then the next record that came out on Enjoy was Super Rapping Two. Yes, you're right. Then the third record that came out on Enjoy was Rapper's Delight. That was the one that made it big. Yeah. I was so mad. Yeah. I was so. I said, look what they did to Good Times. Yeah. I, you know what? <laughs> I said, look what they did to Good Times. <laughs> Cause I didn't like the, I didn't like cause to me because first that. of all first of all I knew the history of Big Bang Hank right he right. used to be a bouncer right and and he was he was bouncing at clubs that the Cold Crush was at mm-hmm. and he was stealing every rhyme Cass was saying yeah he was at the door that. actually letting people in while yeah. writing Cass's rhymes yep. you know and I was like look what they did to Good Times I'm like why would they do that to Good Times why was Sylvia Ro- but then I found out about Sylvia and Joey Robinson and their deal <laughs> so I figured you know they were just in, the, in it for the buck but we uh, as I came up. We didn't do it for the money. It was from the heart. It was from the heart. Plus, we were always in Castle Hill. We had a crew called the Sound Masters Crew. Mm-hmm. And we was like a little break off of the Zulus. Right. Because whenever Bam would play, you know, whenever we showed up, he would let our DJ, DJ Pill and DJ Unknown, Denard, would get on there and they would mix. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we would touch the mic. But see, back then, I was only like about maybe 11, right. 10 or 11 years old. So... I knew what I wanted to say, just in my mouth couldn't do it. Right. So I had the older brothers in the crew, they would say they rhymes. Right. And we would just be in the background, you know, cheering them on, like little cheerleaders, right. you know? But we didn't, and we wasn't getting paid. That's it. But we had the records and we had the sound system. It was fun to us. Exactly. It was fun to us. So in 1986, when I was at a club called Dance Interior, I was on a roof. So they had a club. It was like it was like eleven floors, wow. and every floor was a different DJ. What? You ever heard of Dance Interior? I've yeah, heard of it. Classic. I've never been. Yeah, Dance Interior is right around the corner from the Limelight. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right around yes. the corner from the Limelight. Mm-hmm. So, on the eleventh floor, on the roof, DJ Africa Islam was DJ, and okay. me and Islam, we knew each other from back in the days because we had a crew called the Mark, um, the Mark Five MCs, and he was the DJ. He was one of the okay. DJs. But this was later on. So, I saw Islam up there playing, and I see this little tall, skinny guy standing right next to him. Mantronic. Wow. Mantronic. He was sitting up there studying Islam. Wow. He was studying Islam. Islam was like, yo, just grab the mic. Nobody knew who the hell I was, but Islam knew. Wow. And when I grabbed the mic and I started <laughs> rhyming, Mantronic was like looking at me. He was like, yo, you want to make a record? And this is before Fresh is the Word. This is before wow. Fresh is the Word. This is Dang. before Fresh is the Word. So he was like, you want to make a record? I'm like, yeah. He was like, what do you do for a living? I was a messenger. I was I was like taking messages. I don't know. I had my little beat up ripped. Remember the back in the day they had this this shoe, the shoe was called the rips. It was called rips with the little at the bottom of the box. Yo. So I took my little twenty two dollars. This is now now check this out. This is before Metro Tech. Because where Metro Tech where Metro Tech is right now, the hotel and everything used to be a park. Yes, it was. Used to be a park That's there. Right. Me and DMX would go in that park every day and practice Latoya. Wow. Put this record back on, and this girl's a slut. Because the studio was down the block on Myrtle Avenue, and, oh, gosh, it was, uh, I was forgot. Was it Funky Slice or something like that? Huh? Was it Funky Slice Studios? Yeah. How, who's doing that? Who's talking? Me. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who's doing it. I, I, think, I think so, and I forgot the brother's name. It was a tall brother. I forgot if it was Terrence or something, but it was, on, it was off Myrtle Avenue, but in the cut. Yeah. You know, so we went in there, and back in the night, and, $22 was a lot of money back then. He was yeah. charging $22 an hour. <laughs> I said, yo, Ben, we practiced this enough. DMX real name was Ben. Okay. So I said, Ben, listen, we already practiced this in the park. Let's just go in the studio. Dude, I gave him my $22. We laid down, put the record back on. We laid down Latoya. I took it to Sleeping Bag Fresh Records. They was like, we want to do something with you. Okay. So I was like, cool. They said, give us a call in a few days and we'll let you know. So I'm doing my little messenger work in the snow. It was snowing. It was sleeting. You know how that slush get up in your shoe and you got to bang it out? Yes. And I'm like, yo. So I said, I was on the corner of 50-something and 7th Avenue. And I said, let me call, you know, see what they you know what they want to do. So I called. I said, yo, this is Just Ice. Uh, I bought you my demo the other day. He was like, yeah, yeah, we have a contract. We want you to sign. Hey, yo, I tell you, no lie. I had like about six packages. They all went in the garbage. <laughs> they all went in the garbage and I walked to 66 and Broadway. Wow. With my beat up rips. My rips was talking. My rips, my rips so you said made peace. it happen though. Yo, I went up there and got me a check, went right to the shoe store and got me a new pair That's of shoes. It. You know what I mean? And and and, and That's it took it from there. For real, people. Look, 
this is what it's about. And there's nothing like being in the building with history, y'all. I, I love it. And I so appreciate you for taking that time to come out here today. Yeah. Y'all got to check out Just Ice Chronicles. Yes, yes, Is that yes. correct? Yes, the Just Ice Chronicles. It? Let them know your... Um, it's on iTunes. It's on iTunes. It's just called, just type in the Just Ice Chronicles or Just Ice Chronicles, however they have it up there. Mm -hmm. And you'll see it. It's... um. It's like about seven to eight records on there. I forget okay. exactly how many. So it's not a complete album. It's just an extended EP. Okay. And it has some nice tracks on there. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to catch some flack from, um, what's his name, from the Isaac Hayes estate. Oh, I'm going to catch some flack. That's okay. I'm going to catch it. It's going to be all right. <laughs> now, are you on social media? I hate social media. I know, but it really... It, nah, it, 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 I do it, not like it. I don't, no. And when I get on Facebook, I don't even use my own name. I use, a, I, I, I use another name, and I make sure when I'm finished on Facebook, I deactivate the, um, the whole account. <laughs> I don't want... Because it's... I don't... I mean, when I first had Facebook a few years ago, it brought some trouble in my life. <laughs> okay. So you learn from that. I learn from my mistakes, but I don't I don't mess with social media. If you want to find me, go to Dorm Michelle. You know yeah, you know you heard <laughs> that. <laughs> and we will definitely have hopefully you come back. I'm hoping. Oh yes. Back. Well, yeah, I'm I I, I, I definitely I live like I said, I was born right down the street. I know this area like the back of my hand. I I love down here. Look, and we love you. Girl. I appreciate and it. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. you so much. It's coming out, Look, bro. we're gonna check us out because we're gonna have that Just Nice over Chronicles. There. On on our um on this taping, we're gonna put it up there. So make sure y'all check it out. Okay. Give us some feedback, and we're gonna keep doing this, brother. Much love to you. I appreciate it. Much appreciate, appreciate it. it. Y'all keep watching because people like this ain't made every day. Yeah. This is where it comes from. Thanks for checking us out. Peace, y'all. Deuces. <laughs>
So I lose my mind Though you deny I have to Face the truth In the past I made a mistake Facing love for my Interior I in everything But we wasn't satisfied Satisfied Being as we had chance The truth on Lie, yeah, yeah, she's beautiful and perfect. I keep wondering if she's worthy. My feelings, I can't deny. There's something missing about us, and I'm learning that. So good, gotta rush, you got me physically On the flip side, we argue constantly I question myself over again If we took time to be friends Maybe things would be different But there's something missing Something missing It's time to listen Time to listen To my mind, by my heart I wanna see, but I also wanna run away. I thought love was the answer to it all. I guessed it, I was wrong. Now it's time for me to move on, but love can make. Fresh bread. Take him, Joe. Take that. What up? Just get a little bit. Let's go. You ready? Yeah, ready. Yeah, he's ready. Let's do this. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I told y'all I was back.
if you hate, no, I don't care if you hate, no, I don't care if you hate, no, I don't care if you hate. Come in the building or up in the house.